think fear is emo- think fear is an emotion we all have, and most of us have like something that we deeply fear. <laughs> And for me, it was face paint. I don't know why. I I think it was one traumatic incident that at uh, Robert Mountain that basically scarred me for life. But I think it was more before that because I remember um way before the whole incident. Like I was like you know even when events that I had face paint, I would never get my face painted even like. Before 2013, the whole, I've talked about it numerous times, I don't want to go into depth any of it anymore, because that's in the past, and what I've been told is leave the past in the past, Um, but, you know, I don't know, it's something weird, and then, like, you know, I spoke with my pastor, I think it was last year about this, I feel like God... He basically brought the face paint to me and said, Hey, you know what, Chris? You know what you're scared of this? Let's give it to you, okay? You sit right there and then wait like a year or two and you'll love it. And then you'll become a hobby, which will try to morph into a career. So, (laughs) with all that um, confusion out the way, with that being said, um, I think the lesson I learned from God was, you know what, you know, you'll fear something, right? But if you face it long enough, it might become something you love. You never know. Um, but I think the lesson I learned um, on phobias and fears, it's you just gotta face it. I don't care, you gotta dive in that deep end. Now, it might be different. For me, I didn't go, well, you know what, I I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna trip. I went in head first with the face paint and basically, you know, started painting my face until, you know, I conquered it. And what I've said it before, the first ever face paint design I ever got, um, I started to conquer it, was Tiger. And that's how I got my nickname. I basically used fear as motivation. And that is your lesson, guys, for lesson number two of Rebuilding Your Life by Chris Harris. Use fear as motivation. Face your fears, because it's basically just false evidence appearing real. And, you know, it might take a while. Be patient. Be patient. I ain't gonna gonna say it's gonna be conquered in one day. But, face your fears, and however long it takes you to conquer them, then it takes you that however long to conquer them. And, you know, if it's still following you, maybe ask God, like, Hey, let's say you are afraid of dogs, okay? If you, dogs are still following you in your mind, you know, and you've conquered the fear, ask God, hey, why are dogs still following me? Are you trying to tell me to be a vet or a walk in the dog kennel? I don't know. So, like I said, face your fears and basically... If you have any questions, like if you conquered them and you're um, still feeling like they're still following you, ask God, man. You know, ask God. Like I said, lesson number two of Rebuilding Your Life by Chris Harris. Face your fears and use fear as motivation. Thank you.